If you've been looking for a new construction home here in Central Florida with beautiful finishes inside and out at an affordable price without sacrificing square footage, today, my friends, I think I found just that house. Let's get started. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another house tour. If this is your first time here, my name is Wilfredo and I'm a real estate advisor right here in Central Florida. And my mission on this channel is to showcase different properties all across Central Florida. And if that's something that you're interested, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any time I post a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through this amazing property right here in Ocala, Florida. And if you love the outdoors and you enjoy the relaxed lifestyle surrounded by nature, Ocala is gonna be the perfect place for you. For those of you unfamiliar with Ocala and where it's situated, from this location, we're about 10 minutes from Interstate 75. And Interstate 75 is gonna take you to all the metropolitan cities. We're just an hour and 10 minutes from Orlando, an hour and 20 minutes from Tampa, and about two hours to get us to Jacksonville. Today, we're gonna to take a look at this house. It features three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,815 square feet of space, and sits on just over half an acre. Come on, follow me. Welcome my friends into this beautiful house. You are gonna notice a couple of things as soon as you walk in. The first thing I wanna point out is the flooring. This is laminate flooring and you will see this throughout the entire house. There's no carpet in this house. And I do like the different colors. I feel like it gives the house a lot of character. The second thing I wanna point out are the cathedral ceilings. It gives this open concept space and even a bigger feel. Now let's step into what will be your living room. Right over here, we do have your window that faces the front of the house. You do have this nice window sill that's made of marble, a nice design feature that comes with the house. And then this area right here is gonna be where you put your TV, and then you have your couches right along this area. Now move it along to this side. You can get creative with the design here. Maybe put a, a nice table, some nice picture frames as soon as you walk in. Move it right along, my friends. We're gonna enter what is your dining room. As you can see, a lot of space over here you could fit six even eight people at a nice long table really comfortably behind me we do have your doors that enter into your lanai we'll take a look at that a little bit later now stepping along over here we enter into your kitchen okay so stepping into your kitchen you do have this nice oversized island you have plenty of room for some seating right there in the front now in this kitchen you have a lot of cabinets as you can see it comes in this white color. You also do have the crown molding on top, which gives it a nice elegant touch. Everything you see here is gonna come with the house. You have your stainless steel appliances, your refrigerator, as well as your stove, your microwave, and your dishwasher. Now step along inside over here. Here you have your double sink. You have a nice window overlooking your backyard. So if you're over here doing your dishes, you can keep an eye on your kids. And then through here, you do have a nice size pantry for all of your food. Now the next thing we're going to take a look at are the two bedrooms on the right side of the house as well as their shared bathroom. Follow me. Okay, so in this section we do have the two bedrooms followed by the shared bathroom. Let's step into the first bedroom. So this bedroom faces the front of the house. You do have this window overlooking your front yard. As you can see, really spacious in here. You do have the same flooring as I mentioned, the laminate throughout the house. And then through these doors you do have a nice size closet for all of your clothes. Pretty spacious. Now follow me and let's take a look at the second bedroom. Okay, so stepping into your second bedroom, pretty much the same as we saw in the previous bedroom. You do have your laminate flooring. This window does face the side of the house. Also your window sill is the marble material. And then through here, you do have your sliding doors with plenty of space for your closet. Now follow me, let's take a look at the bathroom. Okay, this bathroom does have the same granite countertops we saw in the kitchen. Of course, you have your toilet and this beautiful shower. I do want to point out the nice tile. It starts all the way at the bottom and goes all the way to the top. You don't always see that in the bathroom. Sometimes they stop like three quarters of the way. Okay, let, now let's go take a look at the master bedroom as well as the master bathroom. Before we walk into your master bedroom, follow me. This is gonna be your laundry room. They do have a sink in here, which I think is a nice feature. When things get a little bit too dirty, you can definitely utilize that. 
This is gonna be your washer and dryer hookup. This doesn't come with the house, but you could definitely buy the ones you like and put them right over here. Now let's step into your garage. This is a two car garage. This house does come with your garage door opener. Over here, you're gonna have access to your electrical panel, as well as your water heater, even your AC unit. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your master bedroom, as well as your master bathroom, follow me. My friends, this is gonna be your master bedroom. Really nice space, really spacious in here. You do have enough room for king size and you do have two windows on either side of what will be your bed, along with windows on this side as well. And then you do have the nice tray ceiling feature as well. Now follow me along, let's take a look at your master bathroom. Stepping into your master bathroom, look at this beautiful shower. You have this nice ceramic towel throughout the entire shower. The only thing missing here, which I wish the builder did, was put some nice glass doors, but you can always add that later. Stepping over here, you do have your private toilet area. Nice feature, they do have a window. And on this side, we do have a double sink vanity, lots of cabinets, as you can see, you're not gonna have any problems with storage. And then behind me, you do have a small linen closet where you store extra towels. Now let's take a look at the walk-in closet. Right over here, my friend, you do have your walk-in closet. You have the rack already installed. Plenty of room in here for all of your clothes. Now, my friends, let's go check out the lanai. We'll operate down the finances of this house. Okay, my friends, stepping into your backyard, we are in your lanai area. This is a great thing to have in Florida. As you know, or maybe you don't know, Florida can get really hot. So having something like this covered definitely allows you to enjoy your time out here in the hot summer days. The only thing I would do different, I would probably screen it in. We do have a lot of mosquitoes in the summertime, so having it screened in is definitely gonna be beneficial. Now my friends, let's talk about the finances of this home. Okay, so to close out this home tour, let's talk about the finances. This house is listed at $344,900. There is a HOA of less than $5 a month and there's no CDD. Okay, now let's talk about your down payment. If you're a first time home buyer and you're gonna use an FHA loan, you need to bring 3.5% for your down payment. So let's do the numbers. 3.5% of the purchase price. Your down payment is gonna be $12,071.50. And if you're utilizing a conventional loan and putting down 5%, your down payment is gonna be $17,245. Okay, so your taxes on a home like this, your taxes are gonna be anywhere from 1% to 1.1% of the purchase price of this home. So you're looking at around 3,500 to about 3,800 per year on this home. Okay, and lastly, let's talk about your closing costs. Closing costs are gonna be anywhere from three to 4% of the purchase price of the home. And that's where I come in as your realtor. Me and my team, we strive to get most, if not all of those closing costs covered for you. That's it, my friends. If you are looking to make a move to Central Florida, I would love to have you guys out. All my information is in the description below. Please contact me. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.